Hello, this is Pastor Roland, and today I want to talk about uh, finding God, getting closer to God, improving your prayer life, finding what um, some of the great Christian mystics down through the ages have found and which they tried to tell you about. Okay, so let's begin um, by talking about one of my favorite people. Mr. A. W. Tozer. A. W. Tozer um, was a very popular, um, a very popular speaker. He he had a ministry uh, in on the South Side of Chicago, I believe, for 30 years, and he traveled around the country, wrote a lot of books. He was very popular. Everybody loved A. W. Tozer. And basically, what he said is that you must yearn for God with all your heart. Okay. It's not just enough to go to church or to study. Uh, it seems like what separates the men from the boys and the ladies from the, from the girls is yearning for God with all your heart. He had a term, he said, a thirst for God. A thirst for God. Okay, it's a yearning for God. Now some of you have that. You don't even know that it's for God. But you yearn for something, something good, something pure, something noble, something that won't betray you, something that won't fool you and trick you and use you, something good, solid, okay? Well, that quite possibly is not you're yearning for God. Your soul is yearning for God, okay? And he gives the example of David. David was a man of the world. He was a great king. You can imagine he had a lot of things to do. And he um, fought battles. He was in charge of an army. But his number one thing was what? God. Okay? His first thoughts were of God. And he yearned for God. And he loved God. Read the Psalms. His soul pants after God. Okay? So there you have it, see? That was what, and God said that David was a man after his own heart. Okay? So even though David messed up, remember, he messed up, but he loved God, okay? Now down through, now let's take another example. Um, St. Augustine. St. Augustine loved God, okay? Very great man. He wrote the Confessions. Hardly recommend you read it. But anyway, getting back to A.W. Tozer. When I was in Reading, there's a university in Reading, California. It's called Simpson University. It's a very nice Christian university. And they have the A.W. Tozer Institute there, named after A.W. Tozer. Okay, so Mr. A.W. Tozer, here are so, and, and so he wanted people to, re, to really, 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 really find God, to fi have, find a walk with God, the presence of God. Okay? So some of the books that he recommended, I've got some right here. For example, he recommended A Guide to True Peace. A Guide to True Peace which is some of the writings of uh, Madame Jeanne Guyon, a very nice lady of the 17th century France, a mystic. She found God. She found God. Um, it also contains writings from um, Miguel Molinos. He found God. And uh, François Fénelon. François Fénelon. In fact, here's one of Fr François Fénelon's books, Spiritual Letters. Uh, he was actually a Catholic bishop. I think he may have been a cardinal. For sure he was a bishop. And he, um, although he was the, had that um, bureaucratic function, he was a very spiritual man. Okay? So those are some of the readings recommended by uh, A.W. Tozer. He also recommends, let me go through, okay, here's Madame Jean Guyon's book, Experiencing God Through Prayer. Okay. Um, what else do we have here? One of my books, one of my treasured books by St. Francis de Sales. There's a, a Catholic order. The Oblates of St. Francis de Sales are named after him. When I went to high school, it was run by the Oblates of St. Francis de Sales. Very nice. Here it is. La vie devote. 
La Vie Devote, The Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales. Okay, so those are just a few of the books. So here's uh, me, The Spiritual Guide by Miguel Molinos. Remember we talked about him? You can find some of his writings in A Guide's True Peace Revisited. So what did these people have? They somehow found God. They found the presence of God in the moment. Okay? They found the presence of God. They walked with God. Okay? And somehow each of them yearned for God with all of his heart or all of her heart. And they found God. And then they tried to, to impart it to you. They wanted to show you how you might find God. Okay? They did the best they could. But over the years, maybe some of their writings have been lost, um, maybe mistranslated, maybe some of their writings have been destroyed or hidden, covered up, okay? But they found um, God. So what are some of the other books that Mr. A.W. Tozer recommends? Well, he recommends, for example, The Ascent of Mart Mount Carmel by John of the Cross. Um, what else does he recommend? Christian Perfection by a friend law, Cloud of Unknowing. The Cloud of Unknowing. Dark Night of the Soul by John of the Cross. Hymns by Gerhard Terstegen. Beautiful writings. Of, uh, he wrote many wonderful things. Um, On the Love of God, Bernard of Clairvaux. Poems by Frederick Faber. Poems by Isaac Watts. Um, his, his poetry and music was inspired. He found God. Um, some of the others. How about um, Spiritual Combat by Lorenzo Scupoli? Okay. Um, so there you have some. Some of the books. Nicholas of, uh, of Cusa, Visions of God. So, what's the bottom line of all this? Where, where am I going with this? These, are, are, these books are well, are convert and don't forget the Confessions of St. Augustine. These are people who want to help, who write. See, when I read them, I recognize a kindred spirit. Okay? And when I read some of their things, I said, that's right, that's right because it talks about what I have experienced. Okay? So that's what you need. You need, okay, not so much to read these people, but you need to find the presence of God. Okay? That's what you need. Then when you find that, then you can read these writers and you will appreciate, see, what they have written. Now, I'm not being um, haughty or prideful or boastful. I'm simply saying that the meditation that I have, I have several of them. They're all good. But when I say the meditation, I just mean one of my meditations. Actually help you to find the presence of God. Okay? Now you are lost down in your thinking, down in your daydreams and your nightmares and your imagination and your fantasies and your delusions. See, you, you fell into those and now you go out in the world and you make mistakes. You become angry, you become upset, you become impatient, you fail. And you don't want to see that you failed. You fail with your partner, with your kids. See, out in life you do dumb things, say wrong things. You become angry and so on. You fail, you don't want to see it. So what do you do? You escape back into thinking again, back into the imagination. Or you use music and videos and texting and so forth as substitutes for uh, the imagination. You escape into thinking. So what happens then when you mess up in life? Or because you're faithless, okay? Instead of looking to intuition, instead of crying out to God silently, okay, what do you do? You, you delve down into your intellect and you look for answers down there. Or you think that more studying is going to solve your problem. So you study, study, study. Maybe you get a degree or two. You think knowledge is the answer, but it's not the answer. So then you go out into the world with your knowledge, things that you've memorized and so on, and you apply them. 
and you apply them uh, wrongly with the wrong timing the wrong spirit and they backfire see so what you need is to what it says in the Bible to become still and know that I am God that's what God said he said he said be still and know that I am God and you're not God see down in your fantasies and delusions you forget that you're not God and you think you can plan and scheme your way out of the mess that you've created never works not only that but the guy with the horns he approaches your soul through your intellect and your imagination your fantasies and your delusions and he caters to you with images naughty images and exciting images see he comforts you in your failings and he goads you on to become more ambitious and then you make more mistakes and then finally when he's totally corrupted you the guy with the horns and you're everything is a big mess see then he tells you uh, you know you're no good God hates you blah 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 the world would be better off without you see so he turns on you he, he's the one to build you up now he knocks you down so what are you gonna do you need to just get out of that out of the whirlpool the cesspool of your thinking okay the mi the miasma of your thinking stand back okay stand back from thought okay then you're a little closer to God and you're no longer lost in thinking it's like watching a movie here's a good example if you watch a movie and you get so lost in the movie then you think you're it's like you're a part of the movie you forget that you exist there you are lost in the movie somebody could come along and pick your pocket see and take your purse while you're lost in the movie but suppose instead of being lost in the movie suppose you you're able to stand back and you watch the movie but you're also aware of the people around you you know there's the curtain there's somebody eating popcorn you, you set, sense yourself sitting in the seat there's somebody in front of you you see what I mean so you you're you're not lost in the movie you're back in the present watching see so you can still enjoy the movie but now you have an awareness well that's what you need that awareness you're closer to God when you when you're not down lost in thinking you're closer to God then you can um, you can find answers wordless answers through your intuition insight common sense okay and you won't be misled you'll be able to see through deceit when people try to fool you and trick you and mislead you you'll stand back and you'll watch and you'll see something not quite right about what they're saying and you won't follow and when you don't follow them you're safe all these wonderful benefits and then more see then eventually you will find what these people found Saint Francis de Sales Madame Guyon Miguel Molinos uh, Brother Lawrence A.W. Tozer Saint Augustine, see Francois Finlon, all these wonderful, wonderful people, and you'll be able to appreciate their writings. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed um, today's video, and uh, get one of my meditations. Start with the easy meditation; it's free. It's very simple. It's like six minutes long, I think. Two parts, total of six minutes. It'll get you started, see, and, and if you like it, if it works, see, some people aren't ready, they're not ready. They're not ready to face the truth, they don't really want God's will to be done in their life, they want to do their own will, see, they're not ready to see things about themselves, they're not ready to see their own wrong, they're just not ready, okay, well, if you're not ready, you're not ready, but if you are ready, then meditation could be a godsend for you. Okay, then after you use that meditation, that may be all you need. But then you can appreciate uh, these books that I've mentioned, A.W. Tozer, um, my books. Okay, so get started. My name is Pastor Roland.